Hello, here is Julia, and today I would like to talk about what you need to prepare and the type of a paperwork you need to have and submit to a lender to get your pre-approval and purchase a property. So the first thing you want to make sure that your FICO score is good and high. So you can qualify as a first-time home buyer as long as your FICO score is at 640 or higher. And of course, the higher your credit score, the better it is your interest rates are going to be lower and you're going to pay less in fees. If you can come up with a down payment of 20%, 20% uh, would be ideal because there are a few different benefits to that, but we're going to talk about it later on. You need to prepare your federal tax returns for the past two years. So if right now we're in 2021, you will need to provide uh, taxes for 2020 and 2019 and sometimes they might also ask for the current year as well if it was filed. If you are employed, uh, you will need to provide your W-2s and your 1099 or the 1099 if you're an independent contractor for the past three years. You'll need your 30 days of your recent pay stubs or checks You'll need two months of your bank statements and make sure you provide all the pages. You'll need two recent months of, your, uh, of any activity on your retirement account. So if you have any savings or retirement account, 401k, Roth IRA, whatever it is, just make sure you're showing the activity and you show all the pages again. You'll also need to have copies of your work authorization, the front and the back side, as well as copy of your social security card or the number itself. And you will need your copy of your driving license or your ID. And make sure you sign those pages that you're providing the copies to. So typically, um, you will either meet with a lender and bring them the stack of the paperwork or you'll apply through a link that they're gonna send you to your email. You'll click on the link and then you can scan all these documents as one file, as a PDF and submit everything. Or you can submit each document per file, so per category that they're asking for. So basically the sooner you will turn everything to the lender, the sooner they can get your pre-approval. Of course, there are other things that they're considering when issuing your pre-approval, like um, your debt, versus your own income. So if let's say they want to see how much you own versus how much you owe, uh, they are going to dig into if you have any anything in collections, any unpaid bills like your credit card, your car, child support, and stuff like that. And then they are going to come up with an overall amount that they are comfortable and able to approve you for. Sometimes when you're issuing a pre-approval, there are going to be certain conditions uh, for that pre-approval to fully, fully finance it. Sometimes um, it might be all ready to go if they're really comfortable in your income, in your credit, and um, just knowing that they're feeling uh, secure by loaning the money. And also it's going to show your the interest rate at which they're loaning you the money, your down payment, what kind of um, financing it's going to be, FHA, conventional, if it's a VA loan, a veteran, or if it's a jumbo or a hard money loan. And then that's it. Now you can go and hunt for a property. Good luck. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave my information down below, down this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.